once labels are created in the drawing. You can use the Properties palette to modify the label so that it references a different object. For example, you could change a slope label on a surface to reference a different surface and display its slope. Or you could change a station and offset label to reference a different alignment. Let's look at a couple of examples of this. First, create a station and offset label that references First Street. Select the First Street alignment, then on the context sensitive ribbon, on the Labels and Tables panel, select Add Labels, Station Offset Fixed Point. Then select a location for the Station Offset label. Now, if for some reason you would like to change this label so it references and displays information about the second street alignment rather than the first street alignment, you can do so in its properties. Pick the label, then right click and select properties. In the general section of the properties palette, set the alignment to second street. Now the label has updated to display information related to the second street alignment. Surface related labels could be changed the same way. For example, create a spot elevation label for the existing ground surface. Select the surface EG by picking one of the contours. Then, on the context sensitive ribbon, labels and tables panel, select add labels, spot elevations. Then select a location for the label. Now you can change a spot elevation label to reference a different surface. Pick the label, right click, and select Properties. In the general section of the Properties palette, set the surface to First Street. Now the label has updated to display the elevation of the First Street surface.